you guys, a freaking miracle just happened. Ryan's mom just randomly showed up to take the boys off my hands. We're free! <laughs> So I have a whole list of things I want to get done. Let me just name off a few. I want to get my fish tank set up. I want to sand this table. I want to mop my floors. I want to clean the carpets. I want to vacuum the carpets first. Do all the dishes. That's actually number one. Um, Cause there's like so many things that I'm super hyped to do. Maybe go work in the grow tent, film a video. We're going to get all sorts of stuff done. <sighs> and I'm really excited. But now I have to do the dishes. I have to do that before any of the fun stuff, of course. I had a, quite a busy day. Time just got away from me. Don't get me wrong, I love staying busy, but I made a nice dinner of coconut curry. My kids ate like one bite and that was it. There were all sorts of meltdowns because they were saying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, my belly hurts, I'm hungry. And I'm saying, you have coconut curry in front of you, which many a people would just really love to eat because that's a good meal. That is a solid meal. But then my mother-in-law whooshed in to save the day and I am <laughs> thrilled. What am I doing? Dishes. Things still come out looking like this. This is supposedly cleaned. And I'm like, you've got to, before you put it in the dishwasher, you've got to wipe things out. Like the dishwasher isn't a miracle worker. Is it just because we have a crappy dishwasher or like, do you have to wipe out your dishes also? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 The boys are gonna be so mad when they see that video that Bismarck was chewing on their best pal. <laughs> wow, I really have to crouch down here. <laughs> it's a little bit of dog eating tree ASMR. We'll start with the crunchy ones. These are some of Bismarck's favorite snacks. Is that yummy? One more? Now for his favorite, the true chews, which I assume are chewy, although I've never tasted them. <laughs> oh, he wants to take this one in privacy. Maybe we'll go let him, hang on. Excuse me, sir. Sir, sir, we'd like to reach out about your cock standards warranty or however you invited. Good idea, poor execution. Let's try that one more time. I'm only gonna give him a small piece because I don't want him to get used to only eating treats. He's already a picky dog as it is. Okay, Bismarck, I'm gonna give you another one, but I just want you to know that this isn't something you can get used to. We can't have this many treats every night, okay? I know, I know, that's so mean, huh? Choo choo, number two. I don't know, I think I liked the crunchy one better. Okay, I'm gonna finish the dishes for real now. Guess what, y'all? I still haven't done the dishes. It is much later in the day. But we're gonna go outside and throw the ball with Bismarck. I feel like I don't get a bond with him very much, so when the kids aren't here, instead of like getting stuff done, <laughs> I'd rather like bond with my dog. Wow, he's an agile little lad. Let's go. Ready? Go get it! Time out, he had to pee on his weed. He pees on that weed every time he comes outside. <laughs> might be forming an unhealthy habit. I don't know if it's bad, but I drink like four different kinds of tea a day lately. I was drinking coffee for a long time, but I started to realize it gave me anxiety. It like really made me feel not well. And I started to pay more attention to why I wasn't feeling well. And it ended up being coffee. So now I'm drinking tea probably too many times a day. 
And I think if you drink tea too much, you can get like kidney stones or something. So now I've started making sure that one of my beverages a day is lemon water because I read if you drink lemon water, you can drink more cups of tea a day. <sighs> it's just, it's become a full-time job to freaking keep myself hydrated through the day. <laughs> Why can't I just drink water? <laughs> I get like so obsessive about every single thing I do. <sighs> so exhausting. <laughs> but anyway, Ryan and I have been really putting in a lot of effort on our house and making the spaces cozy. Mostly for my like benefit, really. I don't think he really cares. But I think it's kind of important to take time to like actually enjoy the fruits of my labor. You know what I mean? And not that it was like a lot of labor, but like I need to take time to actually enjoy it so that I'll continue to do those things that bring me little moments of enjoyment like that. If that makes sense, like it's kind of a cycle that just rolls and rolls, but. Okay, I'm gonna sack up and go sit outside. Yeah, I don't know if there's actually bugs on me, but I'm feeling a little, <laughs> I'm feeling the bugs. Don't know if they're real or not. The worst thing about this house is the mosquitoes, honestly. If we move, that's why. Anyway, that wisteria plant is growing so much and I love it because every single day I climb up there and will like unwind the vines so that they grow the way I want them to grow. Oh, that plane is way low. Anyway, back to the moral of this story, the wisteria, which is this bad boy right here, it's one of those things that I just know is gonna be awesome when it's done. It's gonna be worth it. So it makes me excited to do it every day because then I know I'm like making progress, you know? Oh, wow. The sky is like seriously being a paid actor right now. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Is that a freaking airplane? Airplane, airplane, flying way up high. <laughs> oh, I'm going off on a tangent. That is so beautiful. I, I'm trying to wait to see where the plane emerges, but Oh, oh, it's up right there. It looks so cool. The sky, wow. Maybe it always <laughs> looks like this. I just don't think I take the time to like sit down and enjoy it, you know? So this is really nice for me. I hope <laughs> it'll be really nice for you too because I'm having so much fun. We are gonna untangle this one. It gets pretty hard to like not hurt the plant <laughs> if I wait too long. I mean, okay, I really probably don't come out here every day, but a few times a week for sure. Oh, this is gonna look so cool. I'm going for like a jut jut and then I'll like keep doing that so hopefully it looks kind of like a swirl i know it's gonna get wild i don't know i'm just trying to make it look good yeah if you're gonna be able to see oh yeah this camera is freaking awesome wow bro what the hell this is so weird They are literally right above my house. Gosh dang it, now I'm getting sidetracked doing another frickin' reel. Just trying to figure out how I can film this without showing those ugly, creepy asses. <laughs> Ugh, I don't like them.
This is probably such a dumb reel, but maybe it'll be cool or kind of creepy. winding down for the night. I'm feeling pretty tired. Okay, so, ew, let me close that door. That's a little freaky. Don't like that. No thanks. This is my Monstera Albo, which is actually just like a lot of propagations all together. I wanted a really full pot. I'll probably have to repot this thing like every year, but at some point I'll probably separate it. For now, I'm really enjoying it because they are all just putting out like the most beautiful variegated leaves although two of them did put out almost completely white leaves recently which is like a little bit alarming to me but I don't start to worry until like four five six leaves have come out all white and they're not exactly all white a little a little hair uh, this one has a little bit in the middle but they're pretty darn close to white so hopefully it does okay and I'm actually considering cutting this leaf off should I I think I should um it's this leaf I think it's blocking light maybe and it is starting to yellow get old so I'm just gonna be done with it maybe I can just like pull it off yeah I can just pull it off actually oh yeah baby Oh, it's so much cuter now. I'm just gonna pull this one off too because it's yellow. Okay, whoa, that made it look so much better. <gasps> wow, I should have done that ages ago. <gasps> it's so much better. Well, okay, not better. I just think it looks a little nicer, a little more crisp. Anyway, it's bedtime. Okay, it is time for bed. Good night. See you in the morning. So, I just kind of left y'all hanging this morning. I got distracted as I do. Let me show you. <laughs> I've been cleaning. This is what my house looks like without a couch. I wish I could get a smaller couch. I really like my house. It just feels so constricted by my furniture. You know what I mean? I put away the laundry, moved the furniture out of this area. Oh my gosh, I've done a lot today. It's one o'clock now. <laughs> I had a very hearty breakfast, so I think that's why I'm feeling so motivated and ready to go. Vacuumed and cleaned both of the boys' room's carpets, and then I cleaned the walls and the ceilings. Vacuumed, mopped this floor, did the dishes, fixed the garbage disposal. Uh, we gotta move the furniture back. The thing I really don't like about my couch is I, I love it other than the fact that this side of it blocks a lot of the window light, which just makes the room feel so dark and closed off. Gosh dang it. And then I move the couch and I end up with crumbs all over again. I'm gonna put the living room together and then I think I'm gonna go get a treat today because I've accomplished a lot and I'm feeling really good. And I think it'll be fun. So let's put this together. I just barely realized that my mic was not on that entire time. So we're going to get coffee. Bismarck is coming along with us. I'm just going somewhere like to the closest one to me. So we're gonna go to Beans and Brews.
Now go sit down. good today. One of the things I was doing before we left on our little excursion was I was cleaning the glass. I cleaned the inside. I just got to do the outside. I'm going to do that really quick so I can just be done with it. Um, it actually seems like it's going to storm and I kind of want to let the chickies out. <laughs> Hi girlies. Ryan's mom just called me to go meet her to pick up the kids. Oakley doakley. I uh, changed my clothes too, cause I don't know. I felt like I needed to get out of my jammies. the glass I just cleaned. Back home, changed right back into jammies. Glad I did because you know how I um, freshly mopped my floors in here? Rai Rai is teething and I was taking off his clothes to go get him in the bathtub and he got, he has the teething shits. <laughs> It wasn't so bad with Kai when Kai was little and teething, but Rai Rai really has been having a hard time with the teeth situation. Anyway, all over the floor I just cleaned, so now I gotta go re-mop. <laughs> it's just kind of funny, because I have felt so relaxed and peaceful, and I still do, don't get me wrong, but it's like, these kids get home and it's just like, back at it. Instantly. <laughs> It was a really nice break though. Okay, let's go do this mopping. I mean, I like wiped it up, but I just need to mop over where it was so there's no residuals. Let me get my life situated and then I'll be back. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, I heard you played outside all day. In trains. Oh, you watched trains too? Yeah. Yeah. Look, here's a truck. But it, but don't put it in your food. What's this? What is that? A fork. A fork. A fork. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, my kids are finally down, so we got to keep it a little quiet. Man, it gets so quiet at night, and then the sounds my fridge makes kind of like freaks me out a little bit. So I want a little bit of like ambient background noise, which gave me the thought to put the water filter in here. I wasn't like planning to really set it up soon. I'll probably remove the water to like do the actual terrarium, but might as well just put some water in here and let the filter thing run so that I can have some water sounds. First though, I wanted to put the piece of wood in here I'm gonna use so that I can keep it wet so that it doesn't float. My basement did flood twice this year, so we are currently uh, working on getting the situation dealt with. We did have a little bit of mold, but it's under control now, fortunately. Um, anyway, I was using this to weigh it down, but yeah, it sinks on its own. I can decide what orientation I want the piece of wood. It'll be a little bit easier for me to like shift it around right now as opposed to, oh dang. Wait, that's actually already really cool. So I, I guess I'm gonna leave it in there like this for right now. In my soon to come videos, this is probably going to switch orientations many times. <laughs> But it's a good thing because then I'll know for sure what I want to do when I actually have the time to like do this. Like a dummy, I didn't realize I didn't have my microphone on for the rest of this video. So I'm here voicing over, but pretty much all I did was just remove the sticker and then set up my filter, which is this one. I will have all of my aquarium products linked down below. That video is going to come out in August. So if you're interested in doing it along with me, I will have that link in the description box. You can order the exact same things I'm using. So that'll be down there, but I do really like the ambient noise of this filter. It's been going for about a week now. And I've really, really enjoyed it. it. Definitely has made it a lot less eerie in my house in the nighttime, which I very much appreciate. So yeah, I'm really excited to get this going. But that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. 